Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. We are back from our short holiday break, and I thought it'd be time to catch up on some of the really, really good films and some of the not-so-great films we've seen the past couple weeks. And today, I'm going to talk about Parasite. So I'm sure you heard a lot of the hype around Parasite. It is a foreign language film, particularly from South Korea, and is directed by Bong Joon-ho. Snowpiercer is the only movie I've seen from him, and I really enjoyed his style. It's very gritty. It very has a lot of messaging to it. This film also deals with kind of class warfare and the balance between the upper and lower classes. So in this film, the Kim family is taking advantage of the Park family, who is a very rich family. The Kim family is very, very poor. They're living in the slums. And just that parasitic relationship is where you get the name of the film. And it's very interesting seeing the dynamic back and forth between those who have a lot of resources, have a lot of opportunity, and their relationships and their dealings in the world compared to those who do not have those advantages it has a lot to say. This movie on its surface seems fairly simple. It's just, you know, a relationship where a, a poor family is kind of weaseling their way in to this rich family, taking advantage of their opportunities and their resources the better themselves. But there's a lot of layers to it. There's a lot to learn, and there's a pretty big twist towards the middle of the film, which I don't want to give away. This is a movie that I think that people should definitely check out, and I think it's something that people may not gravitate towards to. People tend to not really see a lot of foreign language films. And a film like this is so mysterious and interesting that I think everyone should go out and check it out if you have an opportunity. I think it has a really big chance to win some big awards when it comes time for the Oscars. Speaking of awards, some of the performances were absolutely phenomenal in this movie. Kang Ho Song, who plays the father of the Kim family, he's the patriarch of this family, who's trying to better themselves in the world. He plays the character so well of someone who is trying to hide who he truly is just seeing that mask come on and off from him is some of the best performances in the film, especially when it comes to the very end of the movie. It's seeing him as someone who is down on his luck, kind of like a trickster type guy, and then trying to blend seamlessly into this very affluent lifestyle. So Dan Park, who plays the daughter of the Kim family, also did a phenomenal job. Basically every actor who was playing a member of the Kim family did a great job because they're chameleons. Even though they're playing these different characters, they're playing another character within the film trying to disguise themselves, trying to blend in in society and seeing that shift in them, seeing that change in them between when they're down living in the slums and when they get to you know relax and be in the Park family household when they're not there, those are some really great scenes. Seeing the family unity, the family dynamic of them coming together and being able to get through into this situation. And the house itself looked amazing, it was gorgeous. I was reading about the production of this movie and apparently they built a lot of the sets from the ground up. And you, and you can tell that this set was built to bring in certain kinds of light, certain kinds of angles that you might not see in a normal house. And it worked so well. You get so many tension-filled moments with characters in the foreground and the background, this wide open floor plan. Seeing the lawn out front and the characters inside the home, that kind of barrier between the two, they're able to create some really interesting symbolism and dynamics when it comes to the actual filming of the movie, the cinematography. So overall, it's just really a breath of fresh air to see this movie. It's something I haven't seen before, at least not in a very long time. As far as it comes to dealing with the struggle in between economic classes, I really liked how they were able to contrast how the two families dealt with things that may seem so mundane to one, but so devastating to the other. In particular, there's a scene that deals with raining and flooding, and you have the Park family who was going out on a camping excursion, and they're like, oh, our camping was ruined. We had to come home back to our beautiful mansion and just have a little camp out at our house. When you have the Kim family who lives down in the slums of the city and their house is being destroyed and flooded, everything they care about is being swept away. So seeing that contrast was one of, the, one of the most powerful scenes in the film is that you have a very rich affluent family who a minor inconvenience like a rainstorm means nothing. It's just, oh, well, we don't get to go camping. But another family, it destroys their whole home, their whole livelihood. That's really powerful to throw in a film and use it in such a subtle and simple way. When saying that, there is a lot of symbolism in this film. There is a scholar rock that comes up multiple times in the movie, and they even say that it is a metaphor a couple times when it comes to getting luck, creating your own luck, and you see how that rock is used throughout the film, and you're seeing how it's creating a change. It's a shift in the entire Kim family. So I like that. I like how you have these little bits of symbolism that you can go back and watch this movie again. I've watched this movie probably three times since I've gotten it, and every time I watch it, I pick up on a little something different. The script is also excellently written. That's one thing that I really actually enjoy a lot about foreign language films, is that I'm able to just sit there and read the subtitles. Every once in a while, I do watch movies with subtitles on because you get a little something extra. You may miss a little bit of watching the actual moments that are happening, but seeing everything written out precisely and exactly, you can really appreciate 
how well a script is written, and this one is really well written. The dialogue is very sharp, it has some really witty moments, and they build a lot of tension in the conversations, whether someone is unraveling something, something is going on in the background, and you're slowly seeing people figure out what's happening or how to move forward. So overall, I would give Parasite a 9.5 out of 10. I cannot find a lot of huge criticisms with the film. I think that it's very well made, very well written, very well acted. The production is excellent. So let me know if you saw Parasite, how did you enjoy it? And how, what is your favorite foreign language film? I feel like this one has taken over the top spot for me. There's been some really good ones this year, but this is just so well crafted. It fits to all audiences and it just has that just extra quality to it that you don't see in a lot of films and yeah, just a really great movie. So thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and see you next time.